when you get the clock back and wrap it very carefully the, the pendulum will be wrapped separate you can handle the pendulum without any bother because it's all been lacquered so your fingerprints won't mark it uh, the only thing you shouldn't touch are these plates because they're not lacquered they've just been waxed so fingerprints will make it tarnish quite quickly the rest of it is fine it's all been lacquered even the bezel and the dial has been lacquered um, when you get it back it will be like this the torsion spring which is the little bit of wire that goes up there will be caught by this and all you need to do is undo that little screw and then lift it up like so right up to the top do the screw back up and that releases the bottom block so then all you need to do is lodge the torsion spring block into the pendulum and that's it it's done just one gentle full rotation no more just steady it and let go then let it run for 24 hours after setting the, t the hands you can turn the hands forward or backward the, the minute hand so um, it hasn't doesn't have to go one way in particular uh, the only thing that you need to check is at the top of the torsion spring there's a little fork just there make sure that the two tines of the fork are either side of the pin because sometimes in transit they do move out and they're on one side and it won't work so they need to be either side and that's quite easy to do um, it shouldn't come out but sometimes they do it needs to be on a, a solid level vibration free surface it's no good putting it on a chest of drawers or anything like that with wooden floorboards because every time you walk past you'll stop the clock so it needs to be solid even if you're on a concrete floor on a chest of drawers um, every time you open the drawer you're going to stop the clock so try and find somewhere that's really solid and stable and it won't move <coughs> when it came um, there was a screw missing here you can see if you have a look it's, um, it's very slightly different color to the other three but it's a job to get them to match because these have been blued a long time ago and this was blued you know a couple of weeks ago um, it's, it wasn't detrimental to the running of the clock it just means that um, now there's nothing missing it's all as it should be um, a couple of these finials were um, loose they've been bonded on um, and it's been running fine keeping reasonably good time it'll never keep perfect time if you can get it within a minute a week then um, you're doing really well and don't expect it to run for the full year um, on my clocks I tend to wind them when the clocks go forward and when the clocks go back it saves me remembering when I've done each one and um, you know it's going to run all the time and I hope you have um, many happy hours with it thank you very much